Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it's actually snowing up here. It's kind of funny because I have really not seen snow this year at all. You know, this winter has been so warm that um, a lot of my plants that normally die haven't died this year. In fact, my fish pond, which always freezes over, didn't freeze over at all. And the fish, well, they're already swimming around. But we're up here in Western Maryland, and there's a Wiss ski resort that's not far away from here that hasn't really had snow most of the winter. And here it is, middle of March, and they're finally getting some. I'm supposed to get three to five inches of snow. Hopefully it won't be too bad for us to get out of here tomorrow. So we sit. At the moment, the NFL season is going to start on Monday, and teams have until 11.59 to use a franchise tag, and I think three teams have used, oh, used the tag already, so there's that. So there's 42 hours roughly left to get a deal done for Dak and Amari if the league year does in fact go on as scheduled. There's also means that technically there's only six hours left for the players to finish voting on the CBA. Now, I have no idea whatsoever um, how long it's going to take for them to announce whether it passed or not. It's all been done electronically, so it shouldn't be a problem. They should be able to look at it right now and see which way it's going and know if it's going to pass or not. I can't, can't imagine that people would wait till 11.58 to do their voting. I would imagine since it's been open already for a week that most people would have already voted that we're going to. And a lot of them might just say, I don't give a rat's ass and just not vote. But um, that voting is supposed to close. And as far as I know, that deadline has not changed. I have not seen anything anywhere about that, that the voting has changed on there. It was set for tonight at 11.59. So we'll see if that happens. But I'm getting the feeling that Dak Prescott will be franchise tag. Now, that doesn't mean that he's playing this season on the franchise tag. That just means that we're buying some more time. We're going to make sure that nobody else can snatch his ass up. And at the moment, I believe that the NFL is really waiting to see what the CBA is going to happen. The only big contract that I've actually heard that they're working on, and you can see that the Minnesota Vikings are trying to get ready for uh, free agency, um, they let go of Xavier Rhodes, um, and they just let go of, I uh, can't think of his name, but an, uh, another defensive lineman, I think they cleared up another $8.5 million of cap room. So I think they went from having about $8 million of cap room to now about $28.5 million, and they're working on trying to get a deal done with Kirk Cousins to um, give themselves some more relief. See, Kirk Cousins' cap number this year is actually $31 million. Um, the way he had set up the contract from the initial standpoint. So he's a $31 million cap hit. So they're figuring if we go ahead and we put an extension on there, let's say three more years, you know, we give them, say, you know, $100 million, they can go ahead and prorate um, some of that money, say, here's a bonus check, and take some of that salary from this year and reduce that number so they get cap relief figuring that they're going to have more money if the CBA passes. So I'm under the assumption that the Vikings believe that it's going to pass, and that's why they're working these deals right now, because they're trying to become a player in free agency. The Cowboys, on the other hand, the only thing we've heard is, is we've got a tender for Cooper Rush. Now, maybe some of you conspiracy theorists are thinking, well, the Cowboys just aren't going to pay Dak Prescott. They're going to let him walk, and Cooper Rush is going to be the plan. That's it. Cooper Rush is the plan. Because the Cowboys figure that, hey, that guy's going to be better than Dak Prescott. So we'll just let Dak walk, and we'll be fine. Yeah. And then we'll have all kinds of money to go in free agency. Yeah, that's the plan. So if the Dallas Cowboys franchise tag Dak Prescott, that gives them the exclusive rights to Dak Prescott for the next year. 
if the franchise tag go, excuse me, if the CBA passes, which I believe it will, they're going to have more money to actually spend on free agents and people, and that's one of the reasons why they're waiting. That's why you haven't seen Drew Brees get his deal yet or Kirk Cousins get his deal yet or any of these other quarterbacks like Deshaun Watson. You know, they even said Pat Mahomes, we're going to wait until after. Boy, the snow is it's picking back up. Can, can you see the snowflakes? I don't know. Can you see them? They're coming across my face. There's one lens there. Um, Pat Mahomes, they said they're going to wait until after um, the deal is signed to do his. And Deshaun Watson said, I'm going to wait until after Pat Mahomes gets his before we do ours. So it'll be interesting to see once the deal is in place how quickly teams get these deals signed. With all that's going on in the world right now, and. Um, I'm going to be leaving here in the morning to go back home and plan on just staying at home. Um, and I'm hoping that a lot of people are able to do that. I'm, I'm blessed that um, I'm able to do that. And I'm going to try and take the time that I have to try and see what I can do to help others. Um, if nothing more than to keep people company, but to make sure that, you know, people who may not be able to get out and need get what they can get to try and help do some of that stuff, try and help out our fellow man. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if the NFL season does go on as they say it does. We've seen so much change so quickly. Um, a week ago, I would have never imagined that so many things would have changed as quickly from all of the sports literally being shut down. If the NFL does continue to try and do business, um, right now, next week, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Hmm. Well, well, we'll see what we're going to see. Clock is ticking. I'm Mark Holmes and well, it's kind of peaceful out here. Hear the birds back there? Yeah, it's really peaceful out here. I'll see you guys soon.